Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video tutorial I want to talk about the usage of MIPMAPs in Model Converter X. As you will probably know, uh, MIPMAPs is a technique to uh, render an object with smaller textures when it's shown further away in the distance. So that's a technique uh, that helps to reduce the memory usage of, of the Flight Simulator game. Uh, by not having to load all the high resolution textures when objects are still very far away. Um, in this example, I've loaded an object of a church. As you can see here, it, yeah, it has all kinds of elements. If I look at that texture in the image tool, tool from the SDK, uh, you can see that it's a texture that has mipmaps. So this is the main texture at the full resolution of 1024 by 512 pixels. And inside the same DDS texture, there are also smaller versions of the same texture, which can then be used from greater distance. So when the object is very far away, the SIM might only load one of those small versions, which of course needs a lot less memory than the full version. I don't want to talk about how to make uh, those textures with mipmaps or, or exactly how it works, but I want to demonstrate a few uh, additional features that I've added to Model Converter X recently uh, to, to see uh, these map maps. Because it turned out that uh, for all the years, Model Converter X had some bugs in its implementation and it was not fully using the, uh, the map maps of the textures. So what did I change? One thing is if you go to the texture converter, which is the, the tool where you can view uh, textures and also you can uh, modify them. There's now a new field where you can select which MIP level of the texture you want to show. So this is a way where you can view the different versions of the, of the MIPs. And in image tool, you, yeah, you, you see that they become smaller. Uh, this texture converter form does always show them full screen, uh, but you can see that the resolution is changing when you go to the smaller versions. So with this functionality, you can now inspect the map maps that are in your texture. And another change uh, that was made is that Model Converter X does now properly use the map maps for rendering the object. And with this object, it's not really clear. Uh, so I'm going to load another object uh, where you can see it more clear. This is a simple test scene I made, uh, but I have to first show you how the texture looks before you sort of understand the magic of it. What I made for this object is a texture that has a white color in its highest, uh, sort of the highest resolution. Then the one after that is red. Then there's a blue, a green, a red, and another blue. So the different MIP maps have very different colors here. And of course, normally you won't do that in the texture of your object, but in this case, uh, I've made it on purpose so that they can see that the MIP maps are rendered correctly in the sim. So that's the texture that I loaded on this simple cube here. And to make it a bit more clear, I'll zoom out a bit. And let's focus here on the top of the cube. If I look at it sort of from the top, it's all white because I'm looking at the highest resolution now. But as I tilt the screen, you will see that it slowly turns red. And if I tilt it even more like now, it becomes blue, it becomes green, it becomes red again. If you look very closely, you can see that it changed one more time to blue, but it's hard to see. So here you can see in effect, and you see it also on the side here, of course, do you see clearly the effect of showing the different map maps? Because once we sort of look at such a low angle at the top, you can't really make out all the different pixels anymore. So it's switching to a different uh, map map level in that case. So this test objects very clearly now shows that Model Converter X does show the map maps uh, in the preview correctly now. Uh, another change that I made, which is kind of relevant for, for this texture, is that uh, if you're using the texture converter form, that now 
it will sort of save the MIP maps that are in the texture object. Before it would always generate the MIP maps when you save the new DDS file, uh, and then it would generate it by taking the highest resolution image and just creating lower resolution versions of it. Now, if you have a texture like I just showed here, with where one of the MIP maps is on purpose made different, or maybe you tuned the colors to make them slightly darker with the lower MIP maps or something like that, that that's kept. So Model Converter now internally stores all the MIP maps, and when you're saving it to DDS file or DXD BMP files, it uses that stores data instead of generating the MIP maps uh, again from scratch. So I think those new functionalities will be useful to get a better understanding of, of how your object works in the sim. Uh, and if you have any questions about it, feel free to ask them in the forum.